Hi guys, I haven't done one of these in a while, and this is a flip through of my New Living Translation. This is the older one that I have for Bible journal journaling, and I just thought you may enjoy seeing this. So, this was actually kind of a funny story because what happened was uh, I was sent, oh, a long time ago, all these products um, to do... Bible journaling, and I really didn't even um, know if I was going to do it. I, I can't really remember, but it was funny because I got sent, like, all the material to do it. So it was like, okay, Lord, I got the, I got the uh, idea. You want me to do Bible journaling? So this is uh, the Inspire Bible, and I have in the front, and we'll just kind of do a quick flip through. And, you know, when you do Bible journaling, don't feel like it has to be perfect. It's really just your time with the Lord. And this one I did some painting. They have like these paints that uh, I used. And I had envelopes and say if somebody sent me a special card or something I just thought was pretty. And like I can stick little things in these. And uh, you might want to see the side of this one. It's pretty big. There's still a lot to do in here. And so... But it's pretty fun. I've got a thumb I just colored. And uh, as you can kind of see. Just with color and things. And, um, you know, sometimes I would just kind of sketch. But, you know, some people's journals are, you know, Bible journaling is absolutely beautiful. And some people are just casual and... I think the main thing is as you're journaling to let that word of God sink in you deep. I have this in here because there's a red, I don't know if you ever heard of the scarlet thread that runs through the Bible. It's like um, all the different things like it shows like, um, I guess it's like the death of Christ, you know, different things that show like, you know, like his redemption of us. So I have like these little card things. I have another glitter and this page is yet to be colored. But I really like the Inspire Bible because uh, you can be a great artist or a not so great artist because you have lots of coloring pages. And if you get pages like this, you can just put something you like in it. Sometimes I've prepped pages and then, you know, went back and... Uh, wrote something in them so I would like just have a day where I just glue stuff in I like or something like that it's just really really like a relaxing thing at the end of the day or the middle of the day here's a rose that my son sent me I think he sent me a whole bunch of roses here's like a little bunny I love rabbits and uh, we've raised rabbits before a few times you can see our older videos of that flowers from my son nice that you know my son's very thoughtful he always does really nice things for his mom which he doesn't have to but and then I like cards I just like tape them in and then you can write something on them or not for a uh, cross eye crocheted I put in here this is cute look isn't that cute just some chicken and clay and of course and I raised chickens and birds flowers from my son do like a card and put a verse in a card from my son and more coloring and drawing sometimes I like to draw according to what I'm reading embroidery I like to embroider too so it's like a little embroidery bookmark I could do some more painting envelope, Christmas card thing, birds. You can see I still have a lot to do in here, but just a little flip through so you can see. Give you some ideas in case you decide to get into it. This is the Inspire Bible. You can probably pick it up right on Amazon. 
practicing with the paints. I think this is so funny. Um, if you read an act, you'll read how Paul got shipwrecked. <laughs> I have this pirate ship in here. He got shipwrecked. It's a really cool story. He got bit by a snake, and everybody's looking at him thinking he's going to die, and he never died. And uh, there's another picture. You can, like, draw right in the middle. And, you know, the Bible's not the Bible, so it's in your heart, you know. Well, it is the Bible still. I shouldn't say it that way, because that's not true either. But uh, just drawing... So there you go. Remember, guys, big or small, you too can be a backyard farmer. I hope you enjoyed this. God bless.